Hi students, good morning. This is Pawan, your science teacher. Students, in this video, I am going to talk to fifth standard students. Students, in the previous class, we have started talking about air and water chapter, and also we have talked about few uh, objectives of the lesson, few sub concepts of the lesson that we have talked about, and uh, what are the topics that we talked in the previous class. You please go through the a video that i will give you the link of that video in the description box of this video which is right below this video you can click on the description box and you can see the link related to the previous video and in this video i would like to teach you about uh, properties of air what are we talking about properties of air students uh, properties of air can be described through following activities what are the activities given here you can see there activity 1 activity 2 and activity 3 activity 4 and based on this activity you can understand what are the properties of air students first activity let us talk about what first activity see students air occupies space students air occupies space let us observe the image first of all students if you keenly observe this image what do you understand there is a bucket tub a person is holding the glass in upside down position and he is trying to uh, immerse the glass which is upside down you know you can see where in the tub the tub is with already some water see students there what happens the level of the water in the tub increases or decreases yes increases so we can understand the glass is with some air and then that is occupying some space in the water okay if you slowly turn to a side and you will see that the air bubbles coming out from the glass yes and you do it at your home on your own you can observe this you can do it no problem at all there is some text given here what is the text let us see yes students what is this take a glass fill a bucket with water next place the glass upside down on the water you cannot press <coughs> not press the glass with water as air is present inside the empty glass yes or no yes you will feel little difficult to press the glass into the water you will feel what little difficult to press the glass into the water as it is with some air inside it got it so that we can understand air occupies some space this experiment you know makes us to understand air occupies some space students you please try to do this experiment on your own at your home students okay yes, yes next activity 2 see what is this air has weight students you can observe these images first of all there are two balloons tied to a stick on either sides and one person is holding the stick tying a thread at the middle exactly at the center of the stick see there yeah you can see here two balloons are here one and two and they are tying to a stick here one person is holding there and see here if you keenly observe there the balloons are parallel to each other if you observe the balloons which are tied to the stick on either sides they are on equal level yes or no yes and then one of the balloons was deflated deflated in the sense the air was removed and then what happened the balloon which is with air is downward and the balloon which is without air is little upward we can understand like this the air has some weight that is why the balloon which is with air is little downward okay right 
let us understand this text given here. <clears throat> make a balance with a stick. What? Make a balance with a stick. Fill two balloons with air. Both of them should be filled equally with air. Tie them on the two ends of the stick. Prick one balloon with pin. Prick one balloon with a pin. The balloon with air weights more. This shows that air has weight. See students, with this experiment you can understand. One of these two balloons was tricked with the pin and the air goes out from that balloon then that goes upward and then the balloon which is with air is little downward that means that is heavier than the empty balloon okay got it like this you can understand air has some weight okay and let us understand third activity activity three air exerts pressure what air exerts pressure students let's go through the image first of all see students here to understand that air exerts pressure you have to take a glass and a cardboard and some water in it then you have to take the water in the glass till the brim or till the edge of the glass you have to take water till the edge of the glass holding it on two sides you have to make it upside down then you will see that the water inside the glass will not come down the water in the glass will not fall down so that we can understand this is because of some air is showing some pressure on the cardboard not to fall down so here we can understand some air is showing some pressure on the cardboard and which is making it not to fall down okay and let's go through the text here fill a glass with water up to the brim cover the glass with a thick cardboard put your hand on the card and invert it quickly invert it quickly as shown in the figure like this you have to invert make it upside down quickly okay and then the card will not fall down why you know this shows that air outside the glass exerts pressure on the card the air outside the glass shows some pressure on it that is why the card is not falling down students like this you can understand air exerts some pressure okay students and this one also you can do on your own and related to this there is an experiment the video and the link of that video i will give you in the description box so you can click on you can see this experiment which is done by a student let us understand this fourth activity what is this air is needed for burning students to burn something air is needed you might have experienced your grandmas or grandpas uh, burning something in their houses in villages mostly you can see the people uh, blowing the air through a pipe and trying to burn the fire right why are they blowing the air to what to burn something so let's understand how air is needed for burning you can see this image and try to understand students what you have to take here you have to take a candle and light the candle and cover it with a glass jar okay cover it with a glass jar and you can see on the second image towards right side after some time the burning candle releases the smoke inside it no that makes it to put off why you know to burn the candle that needs air but as there is no air and it's occupied by the smoke it is making it to put off the candle okay students like this you can understand what text is given to this let us understand take a candle light it cover it with a jar after some time candle will get 
extinguished okay after some time what happens candle will get extinguished that means puts off goes off this shows that air is necessary for candle to burning this shows us what that air is necessary for candle to burning have you seen in villages how men blow fire in their cholas yes students you can see this what is this this is cholas students in villages most of the people make it fire by blowing air through a metal tube why are they blowing like that to make it fire so that we can understand air is necessary for burning so these are the properties that we can understand yes students so what are the properties of air that we discussed now first activity one you can see here air occupies space air has weight air exerts pressure air is needed for burning these are the properties of air we can understand according to your standard students see you go through this text you please note down in your notebook what are the properties of air and what are the images displayed here that is your homework students you please do it in your notebook and present it in your whatsapp group students okay and also one thing i want you to give a comment if you have any doubt you please give a comment in the comment section related to these properties of air any doubt related to any video you can please give me a comment in the comment section students thank you for listening and thank you one and all